Hi guys, welcome back to my new video and today in this video we will create a beautiful website design using HTML and CSS. As you can see on my computer screen, this is the web design that we are going to create in this video. First we have this navigation bar with one logo and some links and one icon in the top right corner. Then I have added this beautiful button, some text in the left side and in the right side you can see one feature image. In the left bottom corner you can see some links which is social media links like Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We will create this web design using HTML and CSS step by step in this video. So before starting this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials if you are new on my channel. Now let's start this video. Here I have this folder and in this folder I have one HTML file and one CSS file. And I have another folder with some images and icons. You can find all these images link in the video description. Now I will open my text editor which is brackets editor. So this is the HTML file. I have written basic HTML structures. And this one is CSS file. I have added margin 0 and padding 0. I have added this line to connect HTML file with CSS. Now we will come to the body tag and here we will create one div with the class name container. Let's use this class name in the CSS file, write it here with the dot and here we will add some CSS properties like height, width and we will add background image. Then URL. Let's come to the folder. You can see we have this folder called images and the file name is background.png. This is the file. This is the image. So let's come back in the CSS file. Here we will add images slash background.png. After that, I'm adding background position, it will be centered and background size, it will be cover. And let's add padding from the left side and right side. And box sizing, border box and position relative. After adding these CSS properties, let's open the HTML file with Google Chrome. So you can see this background on this complete web page. Now we will come back in the HTML file and here we will create one div with the class name navbar. In this navbar first we will add one logo so I am using img say src and the file path and one class name which is logo. Let's duplicate it and here we will change it to cart. Now we have two images one is logo and second one is shopping cart icon. Between these images we will add menu link so here I am adding nav tag in that I am adding ul and li then anchor tag and the link text is home. Let's duplicate it and change the text. So the second one is about, then the third one is collections and in the last link we will add category. After adding this let's refresh the web page and you can see it is coming like this. Let's come back and copy this class name navbar. We will add this class name in the CSS file and for this one we will add width which is 100% and height 15vh and margin auto and display will be flex. Then I am adding align items center. So now it is coming horizontally. Next we will decrease the size of logo and image. So just copy this one, write it here. For this logo we will add width. So width will be 160 pixel and cursor pointer. Let's duplicate it and here we will change it to cart for the cart icon. So width will be 40 pixel. Now you can see small size for the logo and cart icon. Next we will design the links. So just copy this nav, write it here and for this nav we will add flex it will be 1 and padding from the left side. Let's copy it again then write ul and li. For these list we will add display it will be inline block and list style will be none and margin 0 pixel and 20 pixel. Now it is coming like this. Next we will add css for anchor tag. So just copy it again and here we will add a and let's write text decoration none and we will change the color. So now it is looking good. So we have completed the navigation bar. Let's come back and after this navigation div we will create another div and let's add the class name content. First we will add one button in this content box. So I am adding anchor tag and the link text is 2020 collections. Next we will add some title in h1. So this is the title. And after that we will add some small text in p tag. So this is the small text. After adding this let's refresh the web page. And now you can see this link h1 and a small text. Let's copy this class name content. We will write it here in the CSS file. And after that I will add 
h1 for this h1 we will increase the font size so it will be 60 pixel and font weight will be 100 then margin from the top and margin from the bottom and we will change the color that's it now it is looking like this we will change the width of this text so we will add a line break so here i am adding br so after that you can see this content is coming to line let's come back and we will duplicate it and here we will change it to p for the small text font size will be 20 let's remove this one and we will change the color also so now you can see different color for this small text after that we will copy this content over here and for this one we will write margin from the left side and margin from the top now it is coming over here next we will design the link so it will look like a button so here in this html file we will add the class name btn let's use this btn in the css file so before that we will write this content then write dot btn and for this one we will write display inline block and we will add background in the background we will add linear gradient color at 45 degree so this is the first color code and this one is the second color code and border radius will be 6 pixel and padding 10 pixel from top and bottom and 20 from left and right then box sizing will be border box and text decoration will be none and color white and we will add box shadow here so after adding this let's refresh the web page and now you can see this button looks very beautiful after that we will add some icons for next and previous so let's come back and here we will create one div with the class name arrow icons and in this one we will add some icons so i am using img src and the file path let's duplicate it and we will change the file name which is next dot arrow so we have two icons let's copy this class name write it here in the css file and for this one we will write margin from the top and display will be flex let's copy it again then write img for the small icons and here i am adding width 40 pixel and margin from the right side now you can see these icons on this web page after that we will add one feature image in the right side for that we will come back in the html file and after this content div we will simply add one img tag and image file path which is images slash img.png and we'll add one class name feature image like this right now you can see this image is very big on this web page so let's copy this class name write it here in the css file and for this one we will add height it will be 90 percent and position will be absolute and bottom zero and right 160 pixel after that you can see this image looks perfect and it is on perfect position after that we will add some links in the bottom left corner for the social media so just come back and here we will create one div with the class name social links and in this one we will add anchor tags so in this anchor tag we will add one text facebook let's duplicate it and it will be for the instagram and the third one is twitter so you can see it is coming like this next we have to rotate it and let's copy this class name write it here in the css file and here we will add transform rotate and it will be minus 90 degree after adding this you can see it is coming here at the bottom like this now let's come back to the css and here we will add position absolute left minus 80 pixel and bottom 180 pixel so now it is coming over here next we will add css on the anchor tag so just copy it again then write a tag for this one we will add text decoration none then one color code and padding from the right side and font size it will be very small which is 14 pixel that's it so after adding this you can see it is looking like this so we have completed this beautiful website design using html and css
I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end.